Wow, so Merce has her own interview. Something I'm looking very forward to uh, hearing. Mercury is uh, one of the ultimate teammates. She's always there for you. Uh, troops don't matter to her. As long as she has them, they're yours to go kill off. It doesn't matter if it's a free event like UAC where she's going to get them back or it's KVK. I mean, not many players like her out there that are willing to give everything they have, and she just bounces back from it like it's nothing. Um, two weeks later, she's back and do the same thing for you. Uh, there's a small group of us that have pretty much played the game together since it began, and uh, we've become good friends over the years. She's like the Energizer Bunny of Gog, though. She just keeps going and going and going. There's no quitting her. Uh, it's very admirable. From the person you labeled as your GBF to the rest of the Guns of Glory universe, I'd like to introduce you all to Mercury. Hello. Hello. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. And uh, my first question is, how, how much time do we have? So, you know, if I cut it if, if we have Oh, however. Oh, great. Great, as usually. <laughs> this is like pleasure. This is not interview. Like, come on. Mm. Yeah. Hi guys, today I'm talking with my favorite woman who came to K12 from K16. And I actually combine my two favorite topics, interviews and migrations. This person is the only one person I have video call with, with others on it as well. I may say nice eyes. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Hello. Can you introduce yourself for us? Um, yes, uh, my in-game name is Mercury. Uh, my friends call me Merc, for shortened. Um, I'm from Pennsylvania. I live in the United States. Um, I'm a registered nurse, and uh, I'm in my early 30s. So, right. and, and to it, twisted your arm to, to talk to me. Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> and can you tell me... How that happened that you even started to play Guns of Glory? Oh, I actually played um, KOA before this, Kings of Avalon, and we got tired of the gameplay there and the dynamics. So there's actually a group of us that moved over to GOG together uh, from KOA. And um, from there, I've been in Kingdom 16 since the beginning. So I've actually played for the last five years. Wow. How, <laughs> yeah. how playing, well, fun plus game, I may, uh, games, I may say, how playing th these games change your personal life? Uh, it, <laughs> <laughs> so I knew this was a good clip. Uh, I actually met my boyfriend through KOA and Guns of Glory. Uh, we came to the game together um, and... He doesn't play anymore, but he did play in Kingdom 16 in the early days, and um, he moved across the country. He's from the U.S. as well. He moved across the country to be with me, and we are still together, wow. and we've been together for five years. <laughs> wow. That's a story everyone wants to have, <laughs> If, of course, if they're looking yeah. for it. Did you get any friendships, maybe, in the, inside the game? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I have one friend left from that core group that came with me from KOA, and that's KE. And then I've also met uh, Cram, Kinks, uh, and Alpha Hunter. Um, there's not a day that goes by that we don't interact on some level. And the three of us, four of us actually, if we don't hear from each other, like, you know, in a couple days, we usually just check in, you know, one of us will check in, like, hey, how you doing? But um, it's definitely the best, one of the best things to come out of KOA and GOG, Guns of Glory, um, <laughs> is the friendships that you make. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. Well, <laughs> do you think I'm not? Like, uh, come on, this is, this is always like, a, I, I, well, I, I know you a little bit, but uh, when, when yeah. I'm interviewing people, I never know who's on, on the other side. And yeah. everyone seems to be a very cool person. Like I just interviewed uh, Hanisal and uh, Thrasher, and yeah. I have no idea who these people are. All. You know, like they <laughs> they may be like total creeps. Like uh, come on. So this yeah. is uh, this is you know uh, really always really <laughs> okay. So 
Mm, uh, where are we? Ah, here. You were playing in K16 for some uh, mm-hmm. four years. How migrations yeah. changed K16? I believe I I was the only one left, right? Yes, yes. You were the only one that had left. Uh, nobody came. But after migrations, um, you know, it really didn't change Kingdom 16 at all. Uh, we did lose you. And then a couple months after that, we kind of lost our two big powerhouses with um, Wheels and Cube leaving the game. Each had their own reason. So we kind of lost uh, their strong ones, you know, and that just left us to pull the pieces together. And it kind of gameplay went downhill. You know, we kept losing battles. We kept losing the kingdom. And, you know, people got defeated and we lost a couple smaller players after that as well. Then, a couple months later, I, I missed that because I, I wasn't playing that much. You moved to yeah. K-12. Why decide, you decided oh. to move to K-12? Well, this one random day, I log into line chat, you know, the messaging thing that we all used. Um, and I was added to a room with Kings, Cram, Alpha, and uh, North was there and two to everybody else. And um, this was after Uncharted Seas. So we had like known each other a little bit. I was just talking about how the gameplay has gone downhill. You know, the enjoyment wasn't always there every time I logged in anymore. And um, so I was like, come give Kingdom 12 a try. I was like, no, no, you know, because I was really dedicated to Kingdom 16. I really was. And I still am in a way. It does have my heart. And uh so I just joined, and that was February of 2022, just, what, seven months ago. And um, I'm, I've been there every day ever since. Hmm. What was the mm-hmm. best period of time for you in-game? <laughs> um, I would have to say the first two to three years. Um, so that was before, like, the monster stats came in. That was before... Just a lot of people were really throwing the money in the game. And that's when the kingdom was alive. We had great alliance events. We had great kill events. Um, We had some internal kingdom wars. You know, I myself was zeroed twice. I'm still here. I didn't run away. Um, So that was probably the greatest time. Uh, Yeah, one time you got zeroed. This was, I I remember that I was already playing in K16. Yeah, yeah, you were. I woke up to the message 7 a.m. from Alpha, Merc got zeroed. And that was a quick wake up. (laughs) It it was unfortunate because I was actually sick around that time and I just did not have the energy to log in and yeah. So the shield dropped. <laughs> you are, I would say, definitely a woman. Uh, prob- <laughs> probably, but definitely. In the game, in the war game. How is this yeah. uh, different for you? Do you experience anything connected with that, the fact that well, you're a minority in the game? Yeah, I mean, when it comes to... So, you know, I still pop into Kingdom 16 and I socialize and I just... You know, I still handle that aspect of the game in Kingdom 16. But when I try to teach others who maybe aren't as knowledgeable, because I've learned so much in Kingdom 12 just in the last, you know, half a year or whatever, um, they don't really listen to me. They just kind of push my words by the wayside. So it is kind of hard to be heard uh, at certain times, even though you do know what you're talking about. But, um, yeah, they definitely seek a male's opinion more than a female's, <laughs> or uh, they'll they'll look to the power of the kingdom for like diplomatic politics and things like that. <laughs> so that could be a little frustrating. Uh, do you have any interesting story about that being a woman? Uh yeah. I mean, you when people find out you're a female in a male-dominated game especially, you know, in a pixelated world, as we call it, or virtual world, you know, you kind of get those creepy messages <laughs> when you first join places, you know, and you just kind of have to shut them down quickly, you know, just draw that line. They don't cross. And if they do, you put them in their place. <laughs> and now everyone knows that you have a boyfriend, so maybe that helps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. 
So what was the weirdest gossip you heard about yourself or K-12 maybe <laughs> or others? Um, so <laughs> this is for me. Um, so a couple years ago, probably right before the pandemic hit, like before COVID hit, 2019, 2020, um, I had a troll um, and I'm not going to name names because the situation's over, but this female player got real snippy with me. Like she had come and joined our kingdom and was like bouncing in and out, you know, and, um, we were in a couple common group chats, but all of a sudden she got really mean with me and I'm like, what is going on? I hear through the grapevine that she was interested in another player and she thought I was interested in this player. I'm like, no, I'm friendly with people. So I have friendships, male and female. And she thought I was interested in the guy that she was interested in. And she just got real snippy. She started trolling me, harassing me, even to the point where she got my phone number from somebody else and was trolling me on their phone. Um, so I had to like, block that. Um, I had some other vocal friends step in and, you know, de-escalated the situation and it's been peaceful ever since, but these two players, um, I have unblocked permanently and I, I did lose some friends because of this. Wow. This story, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know. it was kept, it was kept out of the game. It was, you know, obviously handled Something rings a bell, but uh, honestly, <laughs> I have to think really deeply. And it wasn't me, by the way. So no. <laughs> it is the first time no. I hear it. <laughs> Who is the leader you always perceived as a role model? Uh, I have several of them. Um, obviously, from Kingdom 16, uh, Cram will always be like my first guru, I guess you would call it. Um, he's like a big brother to me. Uh, I annoy him endlessly. And then there's Kinks, of course, of course. She, um, is just a very strong female voice and she was good with politics when it came down to it. Um, and she never was afraid to speak her mind to the stronger male personalities in the game. And that really helped keep things in check for a lot of the kingdom. And uh, I can't leave out Alpha because I'll probably get scolded if I do that. So those three are from 16. And then, of course, we have our leaders in Kingdom 12. Uh, we all know North. Um, he's <laughs> been great. <laughs> he's been great with my integration. Uh, makes me feel welcome. He was the only one I knew um, when I initially started in King Kingdom 12. But then I realized some others had come from migration and I knew them from our uncharted seas. So that was kind of a nice uh, mix to uh, be involved in. And um, I can't leave out Opti and Sal as well, because they've been they've been some uh, good role models as well. <laughs> you you joined a little bit later than than last migrations to K12. So I did. Uh, you, yes. you you missed uh, these amazing matchups we had, like you know, 52, <laughs> 171, 200. Oh, yeah. uh, do you think uh, last uh, update with the matchups was more on our favor or not? Really? Um, I I do believe so. Um, however. You know, having been involved in KVK since February, I was there for a couple of the 52-171 matchups. I was there when we fought Bear in 200. Um, you know, Kingdom 12 is a very strong kingdom. We don't have a max player, obviously, but we have so many strong castles that that's what bumps up bumps us up into those strong kingdom categories. And uh, I do believe this last update has put us on a level with kingdoms more our power you know so i do i do think it's great for our kingdom the new update yeah and uh, you were observing two kingdoms i was observing like four or five <laughs> like you know case. Yeah. k12 <laughs> yeah. is very good in strategy comparing to others believe believe yeah. me hey what's your zodiac sign 
I am a Gemini, actually. I am a very sociable person. Um, I love talking to people in game, line chat, Discord. I just I like talking to people. Sometimes I talk too much. <laughs> no. Do you have any tattoos? <laughs> I do not. I am tattoo free. My skin is a blank, pale canvas. <laughs> nice. Okay, boxes or, or briefs? Um, I, 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 I don't wear men's underwear. I see those boxers briefs as men, male underwear. I wear the style called hipsters. <laughs> the female style is called hipsters. They're very comfortable. No idea what it is, but I'll Google it and I place uh, the maybe, picture of it. Maybe it's an American thing. I don't know. <laughs> I have a couple of quick questions. Please answer as, yes. as quick as, as you can. And some of them okay. are tough. So be prepared. Okay. 16 or 12? Uh, 12. Girls, no one or Esther? Girls. Old kingdoms or new kingdoms? Old kingdoms. Nap or fight? Mm, fight. Nice hands or nice lips? Uh, hands. Kingdom Raid or UAC? Uh, UAC. Kings or Cram? Uh, Kings. Cram or Alpha? Uh, alpha. Kyger or N2E? Ah, that one's a hard one. N2E. I would say it was a hard one for, for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Honey Sal or Trasher? Uh, Sal. Muffins or pancakes? Pancakes. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> muffins. Always muffins, especially blueberry. <laughs> okay. Uh, say something that, that would bring uh, nice guys to K-12 as a woman. Um, something nice. Use girl power. Um, we have a strong female... Body, get there. <laughs> okay, okay, Mark. So this was <laughs> all my questions. Do you have any questions for me? Um, I don't. I just hope that you continue to be a strong presence in Kingdom Twelve. I hope I, I, I will have some m more time to to hang out with you. <laughs> yeah, and you just uh, keep yourself safe. Yes, and you too. Okay, so thank you very much right. for that, and uh, well. Welcome. I would say see you on battlefield, but we kind of play in one alliance. So uh, <laughs> see you on alliance chat. See you on alliance chat. Bye.